Hello everybody, Bruce here with a short video to show you a little trick that's going to help you become a better web developer. And that trick is how to take uh, a paragraph of text or a line of text or whatever it may be and wrap it in a set of tags. Here I have a very simple web page that has a paragraph of what we call lorem ipsum. Uh, or just placeholder text. And let's say you wanted to take that paragraph and apply to it an opening and closing paragraph tag. Now, a lot of you have figured out that when you do that, right, when you do something like this, when you type a P and do that, that's not where you want the tag because you then have to take this closing tag and put it over there. And I don't know about you, but that's a pain. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a way in Visual Studio Code to apply uh, a set of opening and closing tags around anything you want, okay? So here is that paragraph. I'm going to highlight by holding my left mouse button down and dragging, and then I'm going to bring up the command palette, right? Control-Shift-P on a PC or Command-Shift-P on a Mac. Again, Control shift p on a PC or Command shift p on a Mac. So there is the um, there is the command palette. Now notice that I have I've highlighted this already, but you want to search for Emmet uh, Emmet uh, wrap with abbreviation Emmet a, a wrap with abbreviation. Okay, so you'll type that in Emmet wrap with abbreviation or start to type it in and it'll find it for you. So you can see that my, um, my, my thing there is highlighted, right? So I'm going to hit enter and then it's saying, hey, what do you, what tag, right? What abbreviation do you want to wrap that with? And I'm going to type in P, right? And look what happened below, right? It entered uh, a, a, an opening and closing paragraph tag around that text. <clears throat> so let's do this. I'm just going to type in my name here, right? Just like that. And let's say you want to wrap that in an H1 tag, right? So I'm going to highlight it, bring up the command palette, control shift P on a PC, command shift P on a Mac. It'll remember what I did last. And then I'll just do H1 and there it is. So, uh, whoops, I didn't hit enter. You have to hit enter. I'm glad I did that. Let me do it again. H1 and then enter. Whoops, excuse me. There we go. Emmet, H1, enter, boom. Done. All right. Uh, thanks to the student who asked uh, for the info on how to perform this functionality. And by the way, I want to show you one more quick little tip since we're all here, right? Um, in Visual Studio Code, right, I to type in, to get that, that, uh, that placeholder text, right, I can't type this morning, I'm going to hit the word lorem, L-O-R-E-M, and then tab. And that gives you a paragraph of text, okay? Actually, I'm going to show you two tips. So if you want 10 words, right, of placeholder text, L-O-R-E-M times 10, tab. Whoops, I did that wrong. L-O-R-E-M, okay, uh, 10, just like that. And there are 10 words of placeholder text. If I want to do uh, 20, right, words, tab, there they are. Last tip, um, what happens in Visual Studio Code by default is uh, what is called word wrapping. And right now, I turned off my word wrapping, and you can see here, like, all of the text scrolls to the right. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to have to scroll back and forth when I, like, enter text in my web page. So um, just to show you that again, I'll do lorem tab, and you can see it just puts your cursor all the way at the end. Not, not very cool, right? So if you go to the view menu in Visual Studio Code and go to toggle word wrap, you can see it formats your paragraphs uh, nicely and wraps at the end of the line here because you don't want to have to hit the enter key at the end of each line here. You don't want to do that, all right? So again, last demo, I'm going to wrap this in a division. So I'm going to bring up the command palette select that and then div and enter and there it is have a good day i hope these three tips help you to become a, a much better web developer take care